Hey creative friends, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. Happy Thursday to you all. Today I'm taking you with me. We're gonna pop into Goodwill and see if they've got any new good stuff. Immediately I'm greeted by this entertainment center. They want $99 for it. I'm gonna tell you, it's probably gonna be there for a very long time. For some reason people think that they can charge a lot of money for the old style entertainment centers that held TVs and there is just no market for it. Tell me what you see in your area. You're better off doing a service and helping people who have those in their home because they are a beast to haul and say, hey, I will come in and paint it for you and give it a whole new look look and you don't have to haul it down over the stairs. Oh my gosh, have you ever tried to lift one of those things? So it looks like today here at Goodwill, obviously they got their hands on a large donation from maybe an office or something like that. Yeah, just a lot of office uh, conference tables and stuff, which is really cheap if you want to get a conference table. $45. Oh, you pay when you want to haul it. That's the part that catches up with you. You see these big pieces. How many times have we fallen for it? Tell me if you've done this too, where you go, oh my gosh, for this big piece, they only want $50. You will pay for it. You will pay for it when your husband has to haul, help you haul it. You have to lift it. Oh gosh, you just hope you don't damage any walls or anything, right? So I've just become more aware of the pieces that I purchase. I love that shabby floral plate back there. I saw these coasters, but the edges were kind of chipped and it was glass, so definitely not something I want to take home. Then I saw this. I do love me a nice smelling home. And so the tart warmer is always a good thing. I don't like to leave candles unattended. You should not. And in this new old home, there's lots of levels. And so um, I, I always had to stay in the level if I have any like candles burning. And so I'm like, hmm, should I get that? That's a nice warmer. And I'm like, yep, we're circling back for it. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna throw it in the cart and take that sucker home. Oh, and it said on the side that it had been tested electronically so that's a good thing i love this little rustic squirrel i was trying to be like what's wrong with your hands buddy why do they look clear what happened to your hands and then i realized it's a candle the cutest little squirrel candle ever Then I saw this cool little owl. He's worn a little bit, but he's got character. He's definitely got some character. This piece right here is cool as well. These are awesome if you're a painter like me and you just kind of want to have like water dishes and stuff. Decorative or, you know, put it to good use. So along the shelf, do you see how cluttered it is right now? There's a little bit of everything everywhere. Well, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, and you've probably been like me as well, where you've seen messy shelves and clean shelves. And we're about to figure out why some are messy and some are not. By the way, that ship was really cool back there. If you want to do like a, a theme for a bedroom, um, come to a thrift store. You can find old stuff like, you know, just those boats and whatever there and just pull it together, paint it, do what you got to do. That ladybug was really cool down there. So yeah, so the shelves are looking pretty messy. Oh, by the way, look at that. Cabbage Patch uh, ceramic, somebody painted Cabbage Patch ceramic doll set. I did have a Cabbage Patch doll. Do you see this person right here? I thought they were picking junk with me. Like I thought they were like just somebody else in the aisle. Turns out they worked with Goodwill and she was an amazing shelf organizer. So things start to really get organized from here on out. Oh look, side note, I've been loving me some bird cages recently. If I find some like faux birdcage style pieces, I've been collecting them. So we're just gonna pop that right into the cart right there. So I was talking to her and um, I realized when I crossed around the other side of her, she wasn't picking, she was like rearranging. And I said, you're you're the person that rearranges and like makes the shelves look so nice and neat and she goes yeah and I love doing it and I said you know I've been into I pick a lot I junk and thrift a lot and um, some Goodwills I go into or just any place in general and things look so neat and organized the green glassware is all together the candles are all together you know that sort of thing have you been to a place like that well it's because of people like her she says she loves to do it and she says that she thinks that you know for her herself by the way this candles this candle holder was gorgeous she says that you know much like herself she probably figures that people when they go out browse and they like to see things in groupings so for example if they need a candle holder while well, she's gonna like 
work her magic to pull all the candle holders together in one section, right? Like just putting objects together. And so like I said, the shelf really picks up and gets a whole lot cleaner, but she was so sweet. She was so kind. And I told her that I really appreciated what she did. Like, look here, do you see that? The shelf that even the one that I just panned over, everything is just put together so nice. This piece of pottery, I would have totally taken it home. Totally my style, I love it. But it was $8.99 and I felt like that was a little bit pricey for me. Tell me if you would have taken it home or would you have shopped around a little bit more and maybe, you know, like I like to collect pottery pieces. So um, yeah, but I, I thought maybe I'd shop around a little bit and see if I can find some more or come back and maybe it'll be a little bit less. I like this right here. So yep, let's add that to the stash. This was a cool piece. Love the colors on here, it's a really heavy piece. And yeah, I think I got the perfect place for this. So I grabbed it and put that in my cart too. And the shelf organizer is right up ahead of me again at this point, do you see her there? She's still working her magic. And I just told her, thank you. You just never realize what you do and how, you know, everything that we do has consequences. And even for what she does, you know, we all have jobs that we do and we just never really appreciate or understand how you know, we pay it forward and it helps somebody else out. Like it was just so nice to pick and these shelves were so organized and it was because of her. It's because like she stacked all this stuff together, took the time to do it and just be so thoughtful. So it does take somebody, you know, when you're out in the stores and you see it put together, it does take somebody taking the time to really be thoughtful and pick over the shelves and help us junkers out. So look at this gingerbread man. I like, real, I got the recipe on camera because I'm like, hmm, maybe I should go back and look up this recipe. I have not made gingerbread cookies in such a long time. S for Sonia, of course. But yeah, maybe I need to make some gingerbread cookies. Hmm, that got me thinking. This cat has definitely seen things. Like, look there, that's like a pirate ship style. Do you see that down on the lower shelf? I told you, if you need a theme, just go to the thrift store. This is a nice piece, nice solid wooden piece. Clean it up, sanitize it, use it. It says, we are the music makers. We are the dreamers of dreams. Yep, we're the creatives. They need us. Look at this. Do you see all these homes placed together? Like seriously, a whole village. But if they were all spread out, you would never find all of them. But she put them all together here. I never ever saw anybody do this before. Have you? This is a coin that is put in the bottom and I'm guessing maybe it symbolizes the year it was made. It's a beautiful piece of art. I'm guessing it was homemade because of the initials on the bottom, but the hand was missing. And so I'm like, hmm, what can I do? Would I have to go and get um, some clay, you know, the stuff that you can bake and hardens and glue on and shape another, you know, their hand? What would you have done? So maybe if I go back there again and it's still there, I might take on that project, but he's definitely going to need a new hand. <laughs> and I'm, it was a project that I'm like, okay, this might be a little bit more intense than, uh, than I'm up for hand surgery here. Could not figure out what this was. I'm like, what is this organizer? I like the organizer in me loves finding organizers at the thrift store, but I was like, what is this? What is this? And then I realized after turning it around multiple times, oh, I think it's a wine rack. I'm guessing that's what it is. You just kind of throw the wine in there. Man, you put a really cool pop of color on that. That is a cool wine rack. I do have a wine rack, so I'm good in that department. But you know, if I buy another wine rack, then I'm gonna have to buy more wine. Can't be a bad thing, right? I had no idea what this was. It has clips. Is it made for a certain kind of chair? If you know what that is, let me know what that is below. This right here, I'm guessing it's a flower press. I've never ever done, I, I've done where you take, you know, uh, flowers that you find and you put it into a book between wax paper, but I think this might be a flower press and I have no idea how old it is. is did anybody out there ever have one? Um, and so with one hand, I held the camera and I'm like, are there dried flowers inside? What will I find inside in here? And so I took a few minutes to like, are you, is there anything in here? Are you spying anything? Is, is it just empty? And this is the layers that you would, um, like a sandwich, you would put stuff in between. I literally did not see anything in there. If there was dried flowers in there, I thought that would be cool. Um, to bring home and maybe turn them into bookmarks or something like that. You ever do that where you, you put like dried flowers between two pieces of um, like laminate it? That's really cool. 
So I left it there. If I go back, maybe I'll, I'll pick them up and we could do a what's inside the flower press, if that is indeed a flower press, but I'm guessing it is. Do you see how the binder's all organized? Yeah, she just did such a nice job. Matt was over here in the other aisle and he saw two, which when you find things in sets at a thrift store, that's a good thing if you see two end stands together because the possibility of the one getting broken, one going missing, one getting donated, one getting moved to the top floor, one going to the basement. When you see things in sets, you might want to pick them up. But these, these here, I look at them, I love them, but I'm just like, mm, I love them, but I don't know, they just didn't do it for me. So I decided to leave them there. I thought about the possibilities of like where I could possibly put them, but I just couldn't come up with anything real quick. This little dish right here, I loved it, but it was too expensive. I think they wanted it like, again, $8.99. And I'm like, no, if it's $1.99, I could take it home, put some paint onto it. That makes it more, much more attractive to me, but I left it there. They had a lot of really cool vases today. And maybe it's because that awesome lady was just putting all the flower pots and vases together that I really felt like there was just a nice cluster. This is a chalkboard. You guys know all I would do if I ever wanna redo a chalkboard is just grab the Junk Monkey black velvet or whatever color uh, you know chalkboard you want and just redo that over. So I always remember that when I'm out and about if I see a chalkboard that has a nice frame, but it's just, you know, the chalkboard itself is beat up. I had to go back and look at that. I'm like, is that an actual family photo back there? Or is that the, is that a photo of a true Family members still in the frame at the Goodwill store. <laughs> Usually, and that must've got missed. I think they take the actual photos out or good heavens, please take out your family members before you donate the frame. That's always a good thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you imagine if that girl ever shopped at Goodwill and went, um, yeah, that was my school picture. What's it doing there? So picked over this section as well. And um, yeah, a lot of good stuff there. Like I really like these two little doors that were there, not bad. Not bad at all. So tomorrow on the vlog, I'll show you what I did take home. I still have my bags literally at my feet. And so I'll open them up tomorrow, tomorrow show you what I found and what I plan to do with them. I love those that painting down there. A lot of times you can see stuff and it can inspire you as well. Like if you wanna create it yourself, that would be an easy thing to recreate the one that had all the colors. So anyway, it was a great trip out. Stay tuned on the vlog tomorrow and I'll show you what I brought home. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and happy thrifting. See ya.